Hello everyone and welcome back to Party Hard. Alrighty, we've got plenty to do still with getting through all these as our different people and we're gonna see how much uh, progress we can make today. Got lots of traps going. Lots and lots and lots of everything going on. I do like this uh, party specifically because it has a lot of uh, it has a lot of options for. Uh, traps and stuff. This, however, will make the it will make the party difficult to do as the police officer, which is is going to be a challenge. And we're going to be doing that next after we finish the uh, chainsaw guy. Okay. Well, no one seems to think it's me, so at least. There's that. Alright. Yep. All done. And I believe I can throw you off of the wind- er, not off the window. I can throw you out of the window! No, that's just off the roof. I can throw you off the roof. Why it wasn't me? What in the fuck? Oh my goodness, well, we're not escaping. Uh, it wasn't even me, I was just nearby somebody who was poisoned. Granted, I poisoned them, but still. Kind of same difference. Getting lots and lots of traps on the dance floor. Just gonna throw you guys all down. There we go. I love how many traps there are here, it's wonderful. Great, this guy's like right here. And he's gonna come down here, he's gonna see the dead body, and then he's gonna assume it was me, even though it totally wasn't. Okay, so I think what we should do is start a conga line. So that's gonna call like, a uh, what? No, why me? I don't even know why this time. Ugh! I think the chainsaw just makes me inconspicuous, right? Definitely has nothing to do with the chainsaw that I'm just toting around. So I know I just go around and I set off a lot of traps really early on. But that's fine. That's good. Early on traps are a good thing. We should just stay down here where no one's died, so that we remain unknown. Alright, now let's just set this guy off. Didn't take out as many people as I would have liked. So let's start a conga line. And then once the conga line has started, we're gonna just sit here and wait to break the dance floor. The conga line thing doesn't seem to have worked. I don't know why it hasn't worked, but I know that it hasn't worked. Can I start the conga line again? I'm 
not sure it's actually working. No, I can't start it now. Okay, so maybe when people are freaking out, they will not start a conga line. Good to know, I, g I guess. I'd really like it if people would start a conga line. But apparently that isn't in the cards. Goodbye everybody. Okay, that killed off a lot of people. And that's that's good. Don't think it was me. This guy's been dead for a while. When they have the exclamation points over their head, they don't make the best decisions either, I have noticed. Now if only they were all like in the same area as each other, I could just massacre them with my chainsaw. But unfortunately they are not. Goodbye Mr. Waiter, you've now been shoved into the fan. What's this item up here? To spare clothes. Yep. Had a feeling. Oh gosh. Just gonna make sure that the police officer's long gone. Okay. This guy's up here and is not freaking out. He doesn't care. Now he cares. No one saw that, thankfully. Alright, that guy saw it. The body now. But luckily he didn't see that I had anything to do with it. Okay. Good. Oh gosh, this girl is gonna see some shit, unless she doesn't. This guy, okay, there we go. I was like, this guy doesn't care. He's just like all nonchalantly walking down there. I like it when we butcher them, then there's no body left behind. I Apparently they can't do anything. Uh, about that. Drat. Okay, so people were kind of in the same spot for a little while, and now they're not. Or they weren't, I, I don't know what I mean by that. They were in different spots. Wow, okay. I mean, I'm glad you didn't see it. Like, that's fine by me. I'm just surprised. And I'm trying not to get noticed, but if I do, I have the spare clothes, so it's not the world's biggest issue. Okay. This guy's over here, we want to kill him. And we've got six more people. Yeah, with the DJ, that's right. With the DJ. You have to consider the poor DJ. There's actually an achievement for losing a party with one person left. Oh, you don't even have to clean the window, kill the window cleaners. They weren't in the count. I just noticed them there. I totally forgot about them. There's an achievement for losing with one person left, and I'm like, that sounds awful. I don't want to have to do that. Why should I do all that work? Okay. Uh, no. Still want to be here, and we want to do it with the guy that can't use traps. 
I'm not looking forward to doing this party with no traps. So the first person we're gonna put on the uh, arresting block is gonna be you. But seriously, it's gonna be troublesome to get somebody where no one else will notice. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. You will never find me in like this really okay, yeah. Okay. I this one's so open. I don't know how we're gonna do this. It will give us an interesting um an interesting way of having to do it. Having to do like everything. So we probably, oh, you know what, behind the bar is a good place. We know that they don't see each other back there. This guy's coming back there, isn't he? No. Okay, so we've killed someone. So when the police show up, I'm actually going to have them arrest, oh, I was going to have them arrest the bouncer. So we, we want them to arrest as many people as possible. Chain arresting, I think, is going to have to be a huge part of this, or it will not work. Okay, so we can't arrest a sleeping victim, it seems. And we just want it to be somebody far away from his exit so that we can recharge in between. I think chain arrests, that's the best way to get started. So we'll, we'll arrest another person down here. And we might be able to do this for a while. I don't think it's going to be super interesting, but this gives you a chance to tell me all about your day. Hopefully it's a good one. Uh, by the time this is up, I'll have started school again. Which is super exciting. He's carrying so many people. It's so funny. Um, so yeah, school will be back in. And that's pretty cool. Yes. I don't know how many people we can get him to rest. I think right now we're at six. Just keep turning around. And yeah, have people keep coming down here. Because this is going to be great. This is like the buffest police officer in ever. And I love it. Okay, because we ha he started at the second guy. There's only one guy who's been killed that wasn't arrested. So we're at 8. This will be 9. Granted, there are 68. This is going to take a while. Hopefully you guys are here for the long haul. Because I am. And this is the best way to get rid of people. There are too many people. Ah, oh, but I do love this power. It almost makes not having traps worthwhile. It's a very safe way of getting rid of a lot of people at once. I'm really just curious at this point, like, how many people we can chain arrest. Now I'm kind of sad that I called a couple episodes ago chain arrests, when this is obviously going to be the chain arrest episode, although I may use this uh, a lot. Who knows? Like, this is just where everyone's getting arrested. People should stop coming down here, but they keep coming down here, which is amazing. So he's back again. Oh, it's so good. People just keep on coming down here, and I love it. At this point, I'm just doing this, because we gotta know how many we can get. And we're getting great graphical glitches because of how many people he's carrying. Okay. That was bad. We nearly ran out of person. Oh gosh. He didn't even get that far down here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. We caught him. Would have sucked if he'd gotten away. Right now we're at 15 arrests while this guy's been here. 
Because why should we kill people if we can just get them arrested? Oh, I don't even think I let him finish that one. My bad. My bad, bro. I didn't mean to do that. So people are not coming down here as much now. Which is very sad indeed. But we'll keep getting more. We should probably let him move farther each time as well. Looks like this time he may actually make it almost all the way back. Oh no, and the girl is leaving. Okay, but we can get this waiter. It's almost really bad. Like, we almost didn't have somebody to chain arrest. What would that have been like? <laughs> it's so funny. We got 19. This will be the 20th person that we just get rid of from the policeman. Could we chain arrest the entire party? I feel like the answer is probably no, because too many people are way too close to the uh, exit that he came in, which is where he will also leave. But like right now, he's carrying 21 people. And he's about to carry 22. So even if they have an average weight, like they're all really small, and they have an average weight of 100 pounds, he's carrying like one ton of people. Okay, we're actually like out of guys down there, which sucks. Oh, and now of course somebody's going down there. Okay. Maybe we can continue. Rat. Of course, like, you came down here. Okay, this girl's coming. Let him actually arrest the person. Okay. More waiters have come down here. Sweet. But don't leave, though. Like, I need you to be arrested. <laughs> But yeah, like, and it, it's way more than that, because the average person probably is going to weigh, like, between, like, 130 and 150 pounds, depending on their height. I mean, it could be more than that, for sure, but it isn't necessarily more than that. Arrest this person, too. I don't know if we'll get this one. I think he might make it back. Oh, no, I got stuck! No, he made it away. So we got 27 chain arrests. Like, and that's pretty good. Come on. You're telling me I can't throw him in that. Oh, right, no traps. Throwing them in a fan shouldn't be considered a trap. Oh, Jesus. Drat. This isn't going to work. I'm going to lose my 27 chain. Did he not see me? <gasps> I don't think he saw me. Yes, okay. You know that place where you were arresting like literally everybody a few minutes ago? Yeah, now that's where everyone is dead. So, like, this is nothing compared to, like, what he's done before, but... I really want to just be able to get the bouncer. One of the bouncers. Dang it! No! That was, like, the best run we were ever going to have, ever! <sighs> Seriously, though, we were not going to get a better one than that. And it took ages. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.